When I decided to make a what I eat in a week video this month, I wasn't banking on uh, being in full social distancing mode. This video sees me through a million different emotions as I'm learning how to navigate the new normal as the government guidelines keep changing, so please bear with. So let's get into the food. On Monday, for brunch, I had a bruschetta toast because I had some tomatoes I needed to use up. So I added some red onions, some olive oil and balsamic to a bowl. I let it sit for a while because when you let it sit, like it can take out some of the like rawness of the red onion from sitting with the tomato. No, I don't know how that works either. And then I added it all to some toast. About mid-afternoon, I had a tangerine to keep me going because you've got to keep that vitamin C up. And then for dinner, I had some prosciutto tortellini that I had in the freezer. I fried up some red onion and some courgette and olive oil and made this kind of sauce thing. I don't know why I picked the longest vegetable ever to cook. Courgette takes so long. On Tuesday, I had a deliciously Ella oat bar for breakfast and a banana. Also, I don't think I mention this every day, but I take a shot of Simproof every morning, 10 minutes before I eat. It's a probiotic, I've been taking it for about a month and a half now. Lunch was pea and ham soup with some bread. I know it's pretty gross, but when I'm feeling down, it's just all I crave. It feels very homey to me. And then to have with it, I also bought these like mini cheeses. So I had one of those with my soup. I think this might be the most British lunch ever. Uh, let's discuss in the comments. I forgot to film my dinner on Tuesday because I had some high key anxiety, so I'm sorry about that, but we had steak and broccoli because they were literally the only two ingredients in the shop. On Wednesday, I had another deliciously Ella oat bar on a morning walk, along with a coffee that I picked up at this nice cafe. I really wanted to support the cafes while they're still open, so I got a nice almond latte. It's a shame they're not accepting reusable cups anymore, but such is life. Lunch was avocado on toast, and then also some peanut butter on toast, because I got a new peanut butter from a deli around the corner. It is so lush and so creamy. Dinner was a mushroom stir fry. I added sesame oil, mirin rice wine, soy sauce, and peanut butter to create this like nice creamy sauce. On Thursday, and you'll start to see a trend here, I had banana and peanut butter on toast for breakfast. Then I had a coffee to wake me up a bit. We're really lucky right now. We have custody of a coffee machine because Aviva's sister Talia is living on Guadeloupe. So we're making the most of it while we've got it. For lunch, I reheated the stir fry from yesterday. The rice noodles broke down a little bit, but it was still really creamy and just mm, so good. For dinner, we had fajitas, which were from this kit I bought in Lidl the other day. We cooked up some onions and peppers with fajita seasoning. And then on the side, we baked some sweet potato chips so we could have those with it. We mixed the sweet potato chips with salt, pepper and paprika and some olive oil as well, obviously, to try and create some crispiness. Then we topped the fajitas with avocado, salsa and cheese. I love any excuse to get my La Cruze pot out. It just makes me feel so adult. I'm not gonna lie, Friday was a bit of a write-off food-wise. Again, my anxiety wasn't being so kind to me. So breakfast was shock horror, banana with peanut butter on toast, along with a coffee. I even had the coffee in the same mug I used the day before. I made Aviva a coffee as well with some oat milk while I had normal milk. For some reason, when I'm anxious, I just crave dairy, like so badly. So I was drinking normal milk in my coffees and I was also having some of those mini cheeses throughout the week. My lunch was um, an instant noodle pot. I'm not gonna pretend this has anything cool to say about it. Sometimes you just need some instant noodles and today was that day. So I was all ready to make some tasty food in the evening, but then in the afternoon, I got a text from Pizza Hut saying they were doing 50% off. So I ordered a chicken and veggie pizza because their gluten-free base is phenomenal. It's the closest thing I can find to Domino's. Oh, I was so happy that evening. And then Saturday morning, surprise, surprise, I had banana and peanut butter on toast. I realized vitamin D's in this shot as well. I try and have a vitamin D tablet every day with breakfast. Then I went to Broadway Market at 2 p.m. because I was trying to go off peak, but also I wanted to check out the market and support the local people who aren't gonna be able to run it for much longer. And I went down and got a curry box with some rice, some potato, some dal, and some cauliflower curry. It's all in like these little quarters. I then walked to a bench around the corner in the park and ate it there. It was really nice and peaceful to just sit in the park and like look over at people socially watch people, see what they're up to. 
then I went to one of my favorite coffee shops and I bought a takeaway hot chocolate. Again, I think they're closing really soon, so I wanted to support them while they're still open, and I walked to Jack's house. Josh cooked us dinner and he made us burgers. So we had some burgers with some homemade chips and some corn on the cob. This is obviously a gluten-free bun. I know some people will be like, is it gluten-free? Just trust me. I'm not trying to gluten myself anytime soon. But yeah, oh, I miss corn on the cob. It is so good. The whole thing was so tasty. And that was what I ate last week. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope you're all doing okay in these trying and slightly chaotic times. Let me know what videos you'd like to see me make in the comments. Probably nothing Corona themed from now on, but just let me know. What would you like to see? All right, love you lots. I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.